kind of probably itching to get their feet wet and get more dirt experience. Uh, The next thing that we want to talk about here during this interview, and I think this is super cool because Bennett and I come from a similar background that you do, Outlaw Carts, Northern California. And really, where did your journey through the sport begin? Uh, I know you ran a lot of Outlaw Carts stuff. Cycling and Red Bluff is a big part of that. But really, where did your journey through the sport of racing begin? Yeah, so um, great question. I I had some neighbors that raced... uh, outlaw carts before I even kind of knew they even existed and I was able to uh, spend some time over at their house um, helping them prepare their carts to uh, race at Vallejo Speedway back in like 2005 and 2006 and I got to attend some races with them and then I came really intrigued with um, you know sprint car racing and and outlaw racing and, and being from California and the world of you know being from St. Helena, Calistoga Speedway is right in our backyard a couple miles down the road. And they have a speedway there that um, the World of Outlaws compete at and, and Golden State and SCP. And uh, so I was able to get to some sprint car races and become a really, really big fan and just getting to enjoy sprint car racing as a fan before I was really introduced to it as a race car driver. And then, um, you know, the family was able to uh, help us structure a go-kart um when robert carroll owned qrc and uh carl pavlik built uh built me a cart that i was able to fit in comfortably and race and then um uh race it competitively you know a few a few months later so um it's a a really really cool story that um you know i kind of got going from no racing background in my family and then to um it's all I do today and it's all I think about and it's all I want to be successful in with. That's cool. very neat. Uh, one of the questions actually that popped up while you were talking about that there, you said that they built a cart for you and it's funny. I actually, one of the carts I believe that they built at QRC for you, we actually ended up purchasing when I got started in the two fifties. And w- so when they built it for you, wasn't it true? They had the gas tank in the front and then you had the pedals. Yeah. Right there? Yeah, that's super uh-huh. cool. That's super cool. So yeah. running outlaw carts growing up, how beneficial do you think it was for you? Like, for example, cycling, you know, I, I know a bunch of kids, especially now it's uh it's the main thing to do, but running multiple classes per night, you know, at cycling, you can run like opens and open intermediate or 250 and open intermediate. How valuable was it for you to get so many laps on the racetrack um, in the carts in Northern California? Yeah, I think that's everything um, is just maximizing um, your ability to race as much as you can in one weekend, just because it's hard to go to go-kart races, you know, more than once or twice a weekend, like you can in the sprint car race a few times, um, in a week. And then, um, the biggest thing too, is that the ability that they allow you to race separate classes where, um, you know, when I first got started, I was in, I started in two fifties for a season. And then the following season I raced two fifties, I raced open intermediates and I ran open. So I was running 90 laps a night for an A main. That's incredible. Um, Plus three times a week. It would be three races a night. Um, You know, and then if we went to Lakeport on Sundays, um, sometimes if we did really well at Cycleland. So um, it really, really sped my learning curve up, especially being at Cycleland where it was a uh, really, really technical racetrack where I taught you how to be really patient on the bottom and then be really aggressive on the top. And the more aggressive you were on the top, the faster you went. And the more patient you were on the bottom, the faster you went. So, um, And I feel like, too, the biggest part of my success was how competitive each class was. With the 250s, I, you know, you look back now, and it was Tanner Thorson, Logan Seavey, Tyler Seavey, James Eden, um, you know, there was so many, Jesse Caldwell, Morgan Sanhagen, there was so many competitive racers, um, and it made it for a different winner every night, usually. Um, and then you would see, um, you know, I remember, um, John, I think it was Jonathan Rossi and James Eden. They were really, really good on the bottom. And, um, so was Tanner and Logan. Um, so it made it really, really competitive. And, um, you know, I followed them through intermediate open intermediates and then into open. So, um, we were all kind of the class of 2011 and 2012. Uh, and it was, uh, it made, it, it really, really sped my learning curve up in racing. 
Nice. Um, so quick mention, talking about getting as much laps as you can. Uh, I'm, I'm a really big fan of backyard tracks, and you actually built a super cool track in your backyard, uh, also known as the Vineyard Bowl. Can you talk about that track and getting laps on that when you were starting? Yeah. So uh, well, I was um, lucky enough to – my family in Saddle Offer Construction built a racetrack in our backyard, um, and I was able to get out there and run some laps before I even – kind of started racing competitively and it allowed um, us to have friends over and they got to race, you know, bring their carts and we got to run laps and uh, it was, we were able to, um, to, to race not competitively, but we were all just, just as competitive as we were at the races. So, um, you know, you would get to do some, some bumping and banging out there and it, it was a lot of fun and it, it made it so, um, you know, I could learn, just the speeds of the go-karts and, and uh, more mechanical stuff than anything and testing, and um, they helped out a lot. Cool. So you make all these laps, you know, early on in your career, you kind of go through the outlaw kart ranks, and then transitioning into the wing sprint car. You live in a pretty good area, northern California. Uh, there's probably seven, 